1987. Well, the gas hose in 1984. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty old, so... That's pretty old. <laughs> What's even more worrying is that when you see the gas hose being brought through the back of the cooker like this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this gas cooker, I've just lifted it off the gimbals. It's got a piece of hose at the back here, which is actually dated 1984. Uh, and what's really quite concerning is the fact that really for anything that's gimbaled, it should be really a reinforced hose. But it comes through this uh, piece of shielding. Do you see how the gas hose there has been cut slowly where it's been through the shielding? Just there, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Totally mad. Um, with the ring, with the cooker itself, it's uh, so many people have got these in their boats, but a lot of people don't realise there's no uh, thermal cutouts on them. Let's just get rid of that real pan a second. So if you're merrily sailing and the gas blows out, the gas will freely flow through this without being shut off because there's no thermal cutout. So again, personally, I wouldn't be using this any longer. Um, in my own boat I've gone to a little diesel cooker and stove um, which has been amazing to get rid of the gas completely off the boat and by the time you actually work out what you're going to spend here on cooker, complete new gas system, gas locker, it might actually be cheaper to buy yourself a little gas, a little uh, diesel hob, you know.